Hello and welcome to Indiana Arts Desk. I'm Marcus Jackman. Coming up tonight, a discussion with author Beth Finke, but first, The Revenge of the Bats. No, it's not the latest movie based on Gotham's caped crusader. Instead, it's Deflator Mouse, in German, The Flying Mouse, or Bat, an opera by Johann Strauss, opening this week at Emmons Auditorium. <laughs> Craig Preeby is Flader Mouse's director. He says one of the first things that audiences will note in performance is that all the dialogue will be in English, but every word sung will be in the original German of Johann Strauss. After you hear the first dialogue in English and the Adele switches to German for the singing, that is going to be the first and probably the only shock. Uh, with the supertitles, we match every sentence with the English up on the supertitles above the screen, which are very uh, above the stage, which are very easy to read. So once you make that connection, and it takes about, I'm going to say, 15 to 20 seconds, uh, we pretty much get used to the fact that we're going back from language to language. And it's wonderful to hear the German words that Strauss set his fabulous music to. Um, English would have been easier, yes, but I don't think it's going to diminish the quality of the production for the audience. Deflator Mouse is an operetta, which is like opera light, not in terms of length or quality of music, but in terms of content. Preby says operetta may best be understood as a predecessor to modern musicals like Hello, Dolly. When I think of where I performed in Germany, it was a community not unlike Muncie in size and uh, what it had to offer artistically. And I remember it was the operettas that people enjoyed the most. Uh, if anything brought the people to the theater of, of, of where we worked, which was Hildesheim, it was operetta. They loved it. And when I think of operetta, probably the best operetta in the repertoire, as far as I know, is Flatermouse. <laughs> Deflator Mouse is a comedy of mistaken identities, trickery, deceit, and miscommunication. But actual miscommunication between singer and orchestra, Preby says, is the enemy of good opera, which is why the conductor is so crucial in any opera performance. The thing that a lot of people don't understand about singers is that when we sing, we're creating a lot of noise. And in our heads, that's all we hear sometimes when we're singing full out. So what we're depending on is pure visuals. The audience can hear the orchestra, but when we're singing out, we can't always hear them. Um, because uh, some of the coups said, well, gee, we didn't have a problem with piano yesterday at the rehearsal. They could hear that. Piano's different. It's a percussive instrument. But when you have the orchestra underneath you, that's more of like, you know, um, water skiing than hiking in the mountains, let's put it that way. You know what I mean? You're kind of slip sliding around. That's what makes it beautiful for the audience. Beautiful for us, too, but it's a whole different base underneath us. Deflator Mouse opens tomorrow night at Emmons Auditorium with another performance on Saturday evening. Both shows are at 7.30. For ticket information, call 765-285-1539. <laughs>